Hey guys, this week we're back and we're talking about the Our Place Always Pan and Always Pot. I recently actually got these for my birthday and I've been playing around with them. So we're gonna figure out if they're actually worth the money. Now, I'm the type of person, I love to cook when I'm in the mood, <laughs> which isn't all the time. So if I can cook with things that are cute, that are gonna make me wanna be in the kitchen and I like how they look, great. You know, that's like a little added bonus, especially when they're versatile and are supposed to replace every other cooking item in the kitchen, or so they claim. I held off for a while on getting them just because I saw every influencer buying them, I saw every celebrity endorsing them, buying them, using them, and I just wasn't sure if it was just a fad or if they were actually good products. Because while they're cute and all of that, they have to actually work, right? Otherwise, what is even the point? And 28,000 reviews later, it seems to be worth it. <laughs> so. I'm gonna go through everything. I'm gonna use all the little things they gave us and I'm gonna figure out if they're actually worth it. Right off the bat, how everything fits together and sits is just amazing. Like, I love it. The pot and the pan both came with these little inserts. So it's instructions on how to use it, how to take care of it, clean it, things not to do. And then it also came with these little sponges so that you can scrub them clean and not scratch the nonstick coating. And it also came with this really cute gold clip, which I don't know why this is the thing I'm like the most excited about. <laughs> so the really big thing about the always pan and the always pot is that they're supposed to be super convenient and replace all your other pots and pans. They're supposed to do everything in one essentially. And I think with the two of them, you are getting that because this one is oven safe, but this one is not oven safe, which I know a lot of people online were very disappointed about but they do now have a cast iron one that is oven safe, so there is that option. They're also both super lightweight. I couldn't believe it when I pulled it out of the package, how light it was. Like this one's only three pounds and the pot is only 4.5 pounds. And I don't know why in my mind that sounds like a lot, but in actuality, it's not. It's lighter than all of my pots and pans. They also have a non-toxic non-stick coating, which is really important because some coatings that aren't non-toxic as you're using them at high heats will actually emit gas, which is toxic. So that's a bonus, but because of the non-stick coating, you can't use them at high heats. They don't suggest it because it'll degrade the non-stick coating, which is a little frustrating because it says that it's supposed to be able to sear and usually sear and you want at a higher heat. So I'm a little confused there, but Okay, and we can't forget all the beautiful colors that these come in. The pod comes in, I think, eight colors. The pan comes in like six colors, and they're just so cute because you can match them to your cute little kitchen. I feel like that's one of the main selling points. All right, now let's go into each one on their own. So this is the pan. It is really cute, very light. It comes with this lid here that has a little divot so that it can really nicely fit with this wooden spoon that you get with it. Not to mention the wooden spoon has this little hole here so that it can fit here and not move. Amazing, love that. And then it also comes with a steaming basket. However, it is not very deep. So I don't know how functional this will be. It seems like it's more for quick cooking, but it's kind of like a bonus. And of course we all know it is non-stick. Beautiful. And then here is the pot. So the pot comes with a lid as well, but this one's a little different because it has these straining holes so that if you're making pasta or you're making something you wanna strain, you can just really easily pour it out and not lose any of your food. So that is really cool. It also comes with a roasting rack in here that has these rubberized bottoms so that you're not gonna be scraping your nonstick coating. And then it of course comes with a nesting spoon that has these little notches in it. I thought this was really cool because you can leave it like that. You can put it like that if you wanna put the lid on. There's just, there's options and I love options. Now let's get to testing out the pot and pan. First up, I'm gonna test out the pan and we're gonna cook an egg without oil. 
This will really show me how good the nonstick coating is since it's brand new and you use low heat to fry an egg. All right, well, clearly that didn't go so well. However, cleaning the pan was still super easy. I just used the sponge they provided with some soap and it all came right off. Now let's try cooking an egg with butter. Wow, as you can see, this one is not sticking at all. So I think it's necessary to use butter or oil when using the pan. Next, we're gonna be searing a steak. Even though they said not to use high heat, I had to try to sear a steak because let's be real, if I'm using a pan, I'm gonna be searing meat on it. So I set my stove to medium, medium high heat, and oh yeah, there's that sizzle. I'm actually quite surprised with the sear because I only set my stove to six out of 10 and it's still getting a nice sear. So the nonstick coating should be okay without damaging it. Cleaning the pan afterwards was still so easy. A little soap with that sponge and everything just wipes away. Next, I roasted a whole chicken using the roasting rack in the pot. The chicken fit nicely and it all looks so good. But the downside is that you can't really fit anything else in the pot with the chicken. So it's not like you can add veggies or anything to roast at the same time like most roasting trays can. It's also really difficult to baste the chicken with the juices since you can't really get to the bottom of the pot. But otherwise the chicken turned out great, super juicy and looked awesome. Cleaning was really easy since nothing really stuck too much. So it was just a quick clean. Now let's try out the steam basket. After playing around with it, I found two cups to be the absolute maximum amount of water you can put before it overfills into the steam basket. So I did one cup of water just to make sure it didn't boil into the steam buns and this seemed to work well. I know this isn't the proper steam basket for these buns, but hey, I'm still steaming them, so it's fine. I let them steam for eight minutes and there was still a good amount of water left over. Despite wiping the steam basket down with oil, the steam buns still did stick, which is a bit annoying, but after soaking the basket in water, it was easy enough to clean. So something really stupid just happened. I had finished filming everything and then I dropped this stupid pot spoon on the ground and it hit the ground like exactly vertical down and it got cracked. What? This has never happened to any of my wooden spoons before. So I'm gonna email the company. Hopefully they can send me a new one because this is just feeling really cheap for the price I paid. So our place responded to my email after two days and they said that they're gonna replace the spoon. So I just sent photos, explain what happened, that I dropped the spoon on the ground and it cracked. And they said, no problem. We're more than happy to send out a new one. So at least I'm getting a replacement even though I did crack it right after getting it. <laughs> Everyone cooks differently in the kitchen. So it really depends what kind of cook you are to determine if these are worth it for you. So we're gonna go through the pros and cons of buying these guys. So I think the best thing about these is their versatility. Because they can replace multiple items, it really saves you space, especially for people who don't have a lot of space at home, like me. And it's so nice that everything fits right back into it so that when you're storing it, again, it doesn't take up a lot of space. They're also lightweight, easy to clean, non-stick, environmentally friendly, and you can even use less fat or oil when you're cooking with them. And of course, we all know they are beautiful to look at. And now onto the cons. The number one con for the pan will always be the fact that you can't put it in the oven. If it's replacing all my other items, it should be able to go in the oven. So while this can't go in the oven, the pot can or the cast iron one can. So there is always that option if it bugs you a lot, like it bugs me. I also dislike the shape of the handle. It's a little more uncomfortable in the hand because it's not round. So you kind of have those corners hitting your hand and it just doesn't feel comfortable. And speaking of handles, these handles heat up very fast. So while you're cooking with these, you will not be able to hold the handles unless you have mittens or you're holding like a towel. And since it heats up really quick, that also means it loses temperature really quick. So be aware of that if you're taking something off the heat, it's gonna lose heat really quickly. Not to mention it's made of aluminum, which isn't always the best at heating evenly. You can have hot or cold spots with aluminum, so there is also that. And the steamer basket, it's really disappointing that it's not deeper because you wouldn't be able to steam anything for too long without all of the liquid evaporating and then having to refill it and then losing your heat because you have to take off the lid and just all this stuff. 
And lastly, as with any item that has a nonstick coating, you have to follow the instructions. Nonstick coatings are so easy to just destroy. So you have to make sure not to overheat it, not to use metal utensils on it, how to clean it properly. Like you really have to follow the instructions to make it last. But if you do, then you can usually get a few years out of them. For me personally, I think that they're worth it. For my lifestyle, they work. I don't have a lot of space, so I need something that's easy to store, something that's more versatile. And I really like that they're lightweight and they're so cute. It sucks that this can't go in the oven, but this one can, so I can kind of do what I need to between the two. But if I just had the pan, I don't think it's worth it. Both of them, worth it. But again, make that decision for yourself based on your lifestyle and your cooking style. All right, so that is my review of the Our Place Always Pot and Always Pan. So hopefully now you can make an informed decision for yourself if they're actually worth it. So thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you at the next one. Bye.